Well, in this presentation, you will be learning about final accounts of a banking company. With this presentation, you will learn how to prepare profit and loss account of a banking company. For drawing the balance sheet of a banking company, you need to have the following items of stationery. A4 size notebook, pencil, eraser, ruler and a ball pen. Let me give you some tips for drawing profit and loss account of a banking company. The title of profit and loss account is Form B profit and loss account of Messrs Dash Bank. Here the name of the bank will appear. For the year ended 31st March Dash. Here the year will appear. Like the title of the balance sheet, the title of the profit and loss account is also recorded in the upper margin above the red line on your notebook. How to draw profit and loss account? We will need only 20 lines for drawing the profit and loss account. We will require 4 columns. Rule them in a manner shown here. Give titles to the columns. Particulars, Schedule Number, Current Year's Figures and Previous Year's Figures. In an examination problem, previous year figures are not given. Therefore, this column is often blank. In the profit and loss account of a bank, a simple mathematical formula for finding out profit is presented vertically. That is, income minus expenses is equal to profit and then the profits are apportioned. So, income is shown first, then items of expenditure are recorded. After deducting expenses from income, we get profit or loss and therefore in the third part, profit and loss is shown and the fourth part of profit and loss account is devoted for apportionment of profit or loss. Each item shown under capital and liabilities and assets is supported by schedules. Each of these schedules is written in the working note. Relevant items are recorded in the schedules first. Then the total of the schedule is taken and it is written in front of the respective schedule. After viewing the next slide, you will remember the sequence and titles of each of these schedules. As you have already learned, in the format of profit and loss account, a simple mathematical formula is presented in a vertical way. Income minus expenditure is equal to profit and then this profit amount is apportioned. Now let us develop a short form which will assist our memory in remembering the items to be recorded under each of these heads such as what is to be recorded under income, what is to be recorded under expenditure and so on. Let us develop a funny Hindi sentence for assisting our memory. And the Hindi sentence is Indian oil, Indian oil PO, Mr. Nene, a typical Maharashtrian name. And Mr. Nene, if you don't drink Indian oil, then you will have to take vaccination of triple TPB. So the short form goes. I O I O P N E N E Triple T P B Indian Oil Indian Oil P O N E N E Otherwise Vaccination Triple T P B Now let us understand the long forms I for interest earned O for other income Under the title expenditure we write I for interest expended O for operating expenses, P for provisions for contingencies. Then under profit and loss title we write NE N -E, that is net profit for the current year, net profit for the last year brought forward. This amount of profit is stated in the trial balance of the banking company. T for transfer to statutory reserve, T for transfer to government, 
T for transfer to other reserves, P for proposed dividend and after this whatever balance of profit remains, the balance of profit is carried to the balance sheet. Then in the schedule number column, schedule numbers are put, interest earned 13, other income 14, interest expended 15 and operating expenses 16. There is no schedule as such for provisions for contingencies. However, we have to write a working note for this. Then after writing the respective totals of the schedule 13, schedule 14, the total of schedule 13 and 14 that is total income is recorded here. Then the total of expenditure that is interest expended schedule 15, operating expenses schedule 16 and provisions for contingencies total of these three items is recorded here. Net profit for the current year is ascertained by deducting expenditure from income and the amount is recorded at this place. It is compulsory for the banking company to transfer 20% of the current year's profit to statutory reserve. How to draw the schedules? Roll three vertical lines on six sides of pages in your notebook. This is how the ruling will appear. This is the space in the margin. Go to the first page from where you have started ruling for solving the problem. Title these pages as working schedules. Each schedule will need two lines for writing titles. Now let us understand as to how many lines are to be left blank for each schedule. Schedule 1 to 4 will need 8 lines each. Schedule 5 to 13 will need 10 10 lines each. Schedule 14 20 lines, 15 10 lines, 16 15 lines are required. The remaining space after schedule 16 is needed for additional working notes. Then write schedule numbers in the margin from 1 to 16. Then write titles of each schedule. Then write titles to the amount column. Some of the examples of ruling of schedules are shown in the next slide. Give titles to the schedules in the manner shown here. So first column schedule number, second column the title of the schedule, third column current year, last column previous year. As you already know, previous year column is a matter of presentation and nothing will be recorded there. Actually, under each schedule, a certain sequence of items is required to be followed according to the act. Among all the schedules, at least remember the internal sequence of items that is presented under schedule 16 that is operating expenses the memory assistants are why you my dear gave that flower to her go and bring that flower to me pare priya why you my dear de dia gave it to her go and get it la porio this is how the mnemonics will be written in schedule 16 operating expenses and the long forms are pa for payment to employees re rent for rates and lighting pre printing and stationery a advertising and publicity de depreciation on banks property d director fees allowances and other expenses ya auditors fees and expenses la law charges po postage and telegram and telephone re repairs and maintenance i insurance o other expenditure now let us do one exercise write the format of profit and loss account and relevant schedules 13 14 15 and 16 in your notebook if you are stuck up at any point please see the respective slide again it's very important that you memorize this format. Now you are ready for solving problems on profit and loss account of a banking company.